everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on Birchbox. Birchbox is a monthly subscription that costs $10 that allows you to try different products via a sampling program. You receive mainly small size samples, one time use samples, but some deluxe size and if you're really, really lucky, sometimes you get full size products. They do have a points program, so for every box you get, if you review the products in your box, you get 10 points per product you review and once you reach... Um, once you reach 100 points, which is 10 products, you get 10 points to spend in their store. So lots of goodness. I'm gonna show you the products I received for December 2014. Now I did get the Lowdown box, the Lowdown Plus uh, by Bossworth box. So I kind of knew what I was getting before it came. Here are my items, but I'm gonna run through everything with you guys. First product I received is the Cynthia Roll Creamy Lip Stain in Heartthrob. It's a very, very tiny sample. So, baby doe foot applicator, but opaque coverage. Has a very light scent, but I like that it's an opaque product. Full size price of this product is $20. Now this is considered a long wearing lip stain. Now personally, I prefer other products like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I find them to be more affordable and give the same amount of wear time. But there are other similar products like the Miraness, um Matte, matte Finity Lip Rouge, which are also very similar and also on a similar price point to this product. If you're looking for something for to be a little bit more matte and more long wearing, I suggest the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick or the LA Splash Lip Couture. Next product is Embrolee Lat Cream Concentrate, which is Milk Cream Concentrate. And this is a nourishing moisturizer. I have not tried it yet, but the full size range is from $16 to $28, and this is a sample size of it. Now, this is supposed to give you a moisturizing cream, milky makeup remover. This is actually a makeup remover. Okay, so this is a makeup remover, repairing mask, aftershave cream, baby care product. Well, apparently that this product just does it all. And you know what? If the full size price is $28 and it has so many uses, that's not so bad after all. But I personally have not gotten the chance to try this yet. Next product I'm going to show you guys that I got this month is by Divines. And it's a replumping hair filler. I get a decent sample size with this product. Sometimes they give like one time use, but this is pretty decent. Now this product is the full size of this product is $39 so again pretty decent sample size considering the price point and this is a leave-in treatment to help hair look shinier and fuller basically you spritz five to ten sprays you use it on damp hair you let it sit and it you let it sit on towel dried hair and then you just style as normal um I have not used this product yet um, I haven't used a lot of products in this box yet, but um, I hope to use that soon. So if you have any questions about it, leave it in the comment section below. And when I do use it, I'll come back and I'll answer you. I also received a perfume fit sample, which I've received before. I can't remember if I received it from Sephora or Nordstrom, but I also received the Joey Foley, Foley D Joy is a perfume. The full size is 98. So I did get one of those little um, vial samples. To get one of those little vial samples and it does have a very nice soft scent so included as a bonus they gave one-time use shampoo and conditioner for the replumping product so you can use it in a system I like that Birchbox did that I've never really seen them do that in the past like they'll suggest using it with another product but then you have to go and buy that this time they gave the samples along with the sample and I think that they should really stay on that track because it's a great way to really try a product and get to know a product if you're using it the way it's supposed to be used they do suggest using it with the shampoo and the conditioner um, and they added as a bonus Rufayan nail polish first of all I love this brand especially when they did their collaboration with MAC Cosmetics but I have a few of their nail polishes and I have to say they apply really well they don't chip very easily and they're opaque and again I just love the bottles the bottles really nicely packaged now the full size is ten dollars um, which is a little bit pricey but if you compare it to an OPI nail polish it's kind of right in the range so overall I was pretty impressed with this month's birch box I think they went out with a bang this year um, some of the boxes that I received in 2014 really were lackluster so I'm glad that they gave me a box that wasn't so lackluster to say um, I hope you liked your box this month if not Tell me why you didn't like it, and if you got this box, let me know if you liked it or you didn't like it. Just let me know what you feel overall about Birchbox. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my fashion and beauty blog, and follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.